Good morning. I am out here at Cheyenne Frontier Days to try some of the weirdest foods that they have on the Midway this year. Jim Angel was supposed to do this, but he didn't want to die sooner. I, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. But once the higher ups at Cowboy State Daily found out that I had health insurance and I'm under 30, I was volunteered for the assignment. <laughs> so let's go try some weird foods. So FunBiz is a brand that does this all across the country. Texas State Fair, Minnesota State Fair, LA State Fair. This is the first time we've come in actually and done food for an entire rodeo. And we are really excited to be here because we're bringing things that, that you just haven't seen before. You know, when you come to this, you want everything to be big. You know, you want the experience to be big. You want to see the best rodeo in the world. You want to come and have this time that you super memorable. The food should not be standard. It should not be boring. You want to uh, see now weird is subjective because I think it's amazing. Um, but I understand that maybe eyebrow raise a little bit. Difference. Yes. Uh, two items kind of stand out that people are really excited about. One is the one we are unveiling at the rodeo this year, which is the fried chicken donut sandwich, which is, of course, golden fried chicken sandwiched between two delicious donuts. Kind of a handheld chicken and waffles type thing. Really, really good. If you like that sweet and savory. Uh, so my favorite for like kind of the unique ones is definitely the chicken uh, donut sandwich because it's really cool. Yeah. But for like just standard, they make a really incredible kebab. It's done on this grill fire. It's like a giant grill. You can see it when you walk up to it. Like perfectly charred meats, these vegetables, you know, these delicious peppers. I just like eat them a lot and then I don't feel terrible about myself because it's just like real good meat. Yeah. So you're like, hey, that's great. So my first item of the day is the fried chicken donut sandwich. Uh, I guess we decided to kill me quick quickly in the morning. I don't know. It's very hot and um, I'm burning my fingers. So, <laughs> all right. I have just tried the fried chicken donut sandwich. I've eaten about four bites because I want to live to have children one day. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of a chicken sandwich you'd have like in school, except with a donut. So that makes it 3000 times better. And uh, I'm not normally a whipped cream person, but this time I, I can totally be into it. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty impressed with this. All right. So for my second food, I have a Texas tater dog, which is a hot dog wrapped in tater twisters. So it's like a corn dog, but way better because corn dogs are terrible. And I will say that on camera so everybody can hear me. Yeah, this is way better than a corn dog. Way better. If you like corn dogs, you'll like this. If you don't like corn dogs, you'll like this. As long as you like meat and potatoes, really. That's, that's all the requirement for this. This thing is considered a weapon in some countries, and some countries it's considered food. I don't know. Oh God. It's insanely hot. And I think even after eating a few bites, it can still be considered a weapon. I'm pretty excited about that. It's amazing. It's a giant turkey leg. I mean, you've had a turkey leg, yeah, the taste is the same, but it's giant. I mean, this thing is as large as my head and I have a very large head. It's pretty, pretty cool. So I can't eat all this. I, no, not even on a normal day, but especially not after eating what I've just eaten today. So I have gotten a funnel cake with the works which is uh, whipped cream, chocolate syrup, and strawberries. And I'm pretty sure my mom used to tell me that they didn't allow this on funnel cakes when I was a kid, but I could have made that up. So I'm gonna try it. Oh man, this is basically breakfast at this point. When you add the strawberries and the whipped cream, it's just breakfast. Um, it's really sweet, but it's got this nice little crunch from the funnel cake. And now I've got the chocolate syrup and the whipped cream and I think the only way this would be better 
is if there was a big scoop of ice cream on top. <laughs> guys, I think this is a little too spicy and I don't think any of you guys should eat it. I think I should only eat this and nobody else. For my final dish today, I'm doing the traditional deep fried Oreo because we unfortunately could not get a deep fried Snickers. <laughs> So I have had a deep fried Oreo, but I have not had these deep fried Oreos. So here we go. They are amazing. But again, like the funnel cake, they'd really do better with a big slice of, or big slice, big scoop of ice cream, whatever it's called, I don't know. I've been eating fried food all day, so I, I can't think anymore. They're so good. Oreos should always be fried. Oh, if, also a glass of milk. That would make this way better. Big glass. So I have eaten five unique foods today out here at the CFD Carnival Midway. So thank you so much to Fun Biz for working with us. Please come out here and check out some of the food, the rodeo, the rides, whatever, whatever like floats your Western boat. But so since I've eaten so much fried food today, I'm going to go home and take a nap. But keep reading Cowboy State Daily and thank you so much for watching.